President Biden is defending his decision to pull the U.S. military out of Afghanistan, a withdrawal that was officially completed on Tuesday. CBS 4's Bradley Blackburn has more on what the president is saying about ending 20 years of combat in Afghanistan. My fellow Americans, the war in Afghanistan is now over. President Biden addressed the nation yesterday in a speech marking the end of the longest war in U.S. history. I was not going to extend this forever war, and I was not extending a forever exit. Critics have accused the president of mishandling the withdrawal, leading to a chaotic evacuation that included a suicide bombing that killed 13 U.S. troops and scores of Afghans. The president said the tragedy emphasized why it was time to get out. I don't think enough people understand how much we have asked of the 1% of this country who put that uniform on. Republican critics insist the move has weakened American security and reject the Taliban's promise to keep extremist groups like Al Qaeda and ISIS out. The terrorists in charge of Afghanistan are not your friend. President Biden screwed this up every way you could screw it up. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy noted that more than 100 U.S. citizens were left behind. To get every American home, I believe there should be accountability for what I, what I see as probably the biggest failure in American government on a military stage in my lifetime. The White House says the State Department will continue to work to get those people out of Afghanistan. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News.